Yeah. Our future is at stake. So there's another future that we can build instead. A future where we live sustainably, where we have enough food to eat, where our seas have fish, where our forests have birds. And we can have this world if we stop using fossil fuels now. If we significantly reduce animal farming, if we stop shutting down our forests and allow new ones to grow. Unfortunately, not everyone is on board. But for the future we want, we're going to have to do more. It's up to us. And it's great to see everyone here. We need to change the system, though. We can vote. We can email MMPs. Uh, you've got Rachel Boyak here. You've got uh, a mayor that you can email as well. But you can also join one of the many organizations that are fighting for our future. Um, lots of people here. You've probably seen lots of posters up for people that you can join. Right now, we are Private Liberation Al Tarua are working on one piece of the puzzle, taking a little piece. We're trying to get the government and our councils to include cruise ships, cargo ships, and aviation in their emissions reporting reduction targets. It doesn't sound very exciting, but Rachel and I were talking about how we're committed to reducing emissions. Well, we're not counting a whole lot of them, but basically, they're basically being ignored. That's crazy, right? Going on a cruise holiday, for instance, is one of the worst things you can do for the climate. Cruise ships produce, cruise, cruise ship travel produces three to four times more CO2 than a passenger in a economy air travel. And these are luxury emissions, no one needs to cruise. And Port Nelson wants to double the number of cruise ships coming to Pocketu during a climate emergency. So, here in Pocketu and across the country, we're making sufficient to our councils to count those emissions. And we'll be taking actions throughout Alpana to ensure emissions are reduced. If you want to get involved, or to support us in any way, please be in touch. You can find us at climateliberationalpanoa.org, or we'll speak to me after I've got some players. We can't rely on politicians to get us out of this, and we can't expect industries to regulate themselves. Ultimately, it's up to us. Thank you very much. Thank you.